We have to live holy. The Bible says in 1 John 3, 3, that those who have this hope in him, they seek it to purify themselves as he is pure. That's what the Bible says. That means you got to come out the darkness. That means you got to stop living in rebellion. That means you got to come out of the secret sin and stop being a hypocrite. Stop naming the name of the Lord while you're living in secret disobedience. Because just because other Christians don't see what you're doing, God sees what you're doing. The Bible says God sees the secret things of men. And there is going to be a time where he's going to judge the secrets of men. That means what you think you're doing that you think other people don't see where they might not see and they might not know what you're doing and you might be good at really hiding what you're doing. God is seeing it and you're going to be judged one day. God's going to bring it up in the judgment before he casts you into hell fire if you do not turn away from it. If you do not repent and say, God, I'm turning away from the darkness. I want to live holy. And if you choose to continue on going in your secret rebellion, you're going to be deceived all the way to hellfire. It doesn't matter how many scriptures you read. It doesn't matter how much time you pray. If you are practicing iniquity, if you are practicing secret sin, if you are taking pleasure in unrighteousness, you are going to come under a deluding influence in these last days and you are going to be given over to a lie. God has commanded in his word that we are to live holy. The Bible says, be ye holy for which I am holy. That means you got to come out of the darkness. That means you got to divorce your life of sin so that you can be married to the Lord Jesus Christ. You got to come out of that covenant with death and you got to be joined to the giver of life. And that is Jesus Christ. And in order to do that, you have to make a choice to come out of the darkness. You have to come to the Lord and truly humble yourself in sincere repentance and say, God, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to be found as an enemy on the day of judgment. And I get cast into hell fire, come to the Lord and say, God, I am tired of living in rebellion. I am tired of living uh, against your will and I want to be right with you and you really get right with the Lord if not my friends you are going to live your life and you're going to continue on in the darkness and you're going to die and you're going to go to hell fire that's what it is the Bible says that there's a narrow way that leads to life that only few find it you know why because only few want to come out of the darkness only few want to really commit their lives to God only few want to come out of rebellion and live holy. Only few want to give their bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, because that's their reasonable service, because Jesus shed his blood for the sin of the world. And now God's requirement is that you give your body as a living sacrifice. That means you set yourself apart for, to God. You set yourself apart. You turn away from the darkness. You begin to live holy. You begin to clean your life up. Like it says in scripture, it says, having these promises, beloved, let us therefore cleanse ourselves from the filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. That's what the Bible says, that we are to perfect holiness in the fear of God. The Bible says that it's by the fear of God men depart from evil. This is how we perfect holiness. We perfect holy living by the fear of God, knowing that God is righteous, knowing that God is holy, knowing that God is just knowing that it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God and that the Lord is offering us 
a place in eternity with him and that he's holy and he has commanded be ye holy for which I am holy and we lay hold of this opportunity and we turn away from the darkness and we humble ourselves in prayer and we call out on the grace of God and we say oh God give me the grace to overcome this give me the grace Lord to break through this struggle I don't want to be caught in this struggle anymore I don't want to be bound by this darkness anymore God I come to you in the name of the Lord and I ask for the grace to be set free and the Bible says that God resists the proud but he gives grace to the humble he will give grace to the humble he will give grace to those who are willing to come to him and put their sufficiency in Christ and come to him and say God I can't do this by myself I need your strength see the prideful they don't need to pray and come to God the prideful they don't need to come and ask God for help they are self-sufficient the prideful is self-reliant the prideful think they got it all together like they don't need God's help but it's the God but God gives grace to the humble it's to the humble that God will pour out his grace and give them the strength to come out of whatever it is that might have them bound and if this is you humble yourself God is an amazing and awesome and loving God. He is rich in mercy. He is deep in compassion. And all you have to do is get real with God. The Lord is saying, just get real with him today. This is what God is looking for. He's looking for people that's going to be real with him. Like they say in the streets. There was a street term they used to say when I lived in the streets and, and I was living in the darkness. We used to say, just keep it real. Just keep it real. And that's what God is saying right now. He's saying, and I want you to just keep it real. I want you to be real with me. He's saying, I want you to be faithful to me. God is looking for faithful men and women who are willing to live holy. Because without holiness, the Bible says, no one will see the Lord. It's a narrow way that leads to life. And only few people find it. We are in the last days. And many are on the broad way that leads to destruction. Many are in secret sin and they are practicing the secret things of, of iniquity. And they are taking pleasure in the darkness. And if this is you, my friend, God is speaking to you right now. He's saying, come to him and humble your heart. Turn away from the darkness. Come out of your rebellion and give your life to him wholeheartedly start to live holy start to live righteously then god will pour out his spirit upon you god will pour out his favor upon you god will embrace you like a father and he will begin to look after you and he will begin to answer your prayers yet you have to be willing to come to him and humble yourself be blessed today in jesus mighty name